Ever since the Mughal Chocobo Carnival concluded earlier this year on the 20th of February, we've been wondering what the heck the mysterious Dream Egg is for. Well, thanks to the announcement of a brand new piece of free DLC for the game, we finally have at least a part of an answer. You see, today Square Enix and Ubisoft announced a rather unique collaboration between Final Fantasy XV and the upcoming Assassin's Creed Origins, which is due to release worldwide on the 27th of October 2017. It sees the creation of the Assassin's Festival within Final Fantasy XV, which is essentially a free, limited-time DLC event, similar to the Mughal Chocobo Carnival. However, it will run for a much longer period of time, from the 31st of August through to the 31st of January 2018. Unlike the Mughal Chocobo Carnival, which saw Tissia go through some of a renovation, the Assassin's Festival sees Lestalem go through a similar change. As you can see from the press imagery, there are quite a few banners featured and even some stalls. And due to some new mechanics that have been implemented, you will be able to explore Lestalem like never before. In addition, there will be new mini-games to play, as well as some crossover features from the Assassin's Creed franchise, such as eagle diving, hiding in haystacks, and also the classic hidden blade executions. From the looks of things, there will also be some kind of story element to the Assassin's Festival with characters such as Cindy, and even Loki, one of the Imperial generals who had a brief appearance in the main game. It seems like maybe he's been brought in to spice things up a bit. The crux of it though, is that Noctis and company don't have access to the power of kings, and they need to adopt the ways of the assassin to get the job done. As you'd expect, there will be some exclusive items for you to obtain, and they are of course related to Assassin's Creed. You will be able to get the Majay assassin's robes for Noctis, Gladiolus, Ignis, and Prompto, with Majay being the new protagonist in Assassin's Creed Origins. And in the news that you've been waiting for, they've also finally revealed the purpose of the mysterious Dream Egg from the Mughal Chocobo Carnival. It will allow you to unlock the Master Assassin's robes for Noctis to wear, an outfit that was of course made famous by the star of the original Assassin's Creed, Altair. If you weren't able to get the Dream Egg the first time around, the Mughal Chocobo Carnival has been brought back and will remain live until late September 2017, so there's still plenty of time to pick it up and unlock the Master Assassin's robes. With the release date set at the 31st of August, this also confirms that Final Fantasy XV Patch Update 1.14 will also be going live on the 31st of August, or next Thursday. This of course will see the addition of the Bestiary and Chapter Select. So, how are you guys feeling about this collaboration? Are you happy that you finally know what the fabled dream egg was for? And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, if you'd like to support our channel further, please consider checking out our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash ffunion. These wonderful fellows have already done so and we are so thankful. Alright guys, this is Lauren signing out. I'll see you next time.